no one wants to say it out loud, is Kamala Harris a diversity hire on a national scale? Charlie Kirk seems pretty sure, and that idea is explored when you see him push back against college students on this Jubilee segment. I dug up some things from back in the 2020 campaign that point to the real answer to the question, so subscribe to the channel and watch what Charlie said before I tell you more about it. Can I define what a DEI candidate is? I, I think that you're going to say because she's black and she's a woman, well, she's appointed because Joe Biden promised that, and it's, it's not a testament not, to her not success. Not only that, but also in the her getting the nomination of the Democrat Party, they said repeatedly, we do not want to pass over a black female. Okay, so just those two things, but the first one is stronger. You're right. Joe Biden said, I'm going to put on my vice presidency a black female. Right. Right. So his criteria was, kept. Yeah. And that was like Karen Bass and Kamala Harris. Okay. So she was not chosen because of her intellect or her accomplishments or because of any of that. It was because she happened to fit a couple boxes. In fact, Amy Klobuchar, the vetting at the time was that Amy Klobuchar would have been a better VP okay. and Kamala ended up getting it. So it's just a statement of fact that she is there not because of her brilliance or accomplishments, but because of her ethnicity. So Kamala Harris, first and foremost, there are a lot of criticisms that you can give to her on why she wouldn't be an effective president. It shouldn't be because she's a woman or because she's black. And it seems uh, to be that, that you're saying that. No, I'm just, I just want people to understand and agree she didn't earn this. She, that, she because, absolutely did. Well, she no, has, a, she a, has a career where she's no, been not only a D, DA, DEI of, stands of for one of the biggest. Earn it, just so we're clear. But like, it, it stands for diversity, equity, inclusion. No, I, I like I, the meme though. I, I, I'm, I, I know what it is. But do you at least admit and acknowledge that when Joe Biden was searching for a VP, he cared more about skin color and a female than the smartest, best person. So the, the whole conversation with this affirmative with action with DEI, the whole reason why people bring it in is to make this imaginary scenario that there's a super qualified white man who was overpassed by this unqualified, stupid idiot, but hold on, person but of color, his own, which is such his a own, terrible his own analogy team said that. because it's not true. His own team it's said absolutely it. not true. Mason, that, that's not what it is. His Joe own Biden team. did not say, I'm going to choose an unqualified well, person and just a pin because she's team, black. His own team He's said saying it. that I'm going to have two qualified people. If one comes from a different experience, it might be better no, to have a diversity and said. have a better perception. You know what's most surprising about discussions like this? It's that someone on the left that would rant on about diversity, equity, and inclusion would recoil at the idea that someone was put in there because of DEI. If that's their political platform, why not embrace it instead of becoming defensive? And that would actually be a very substantive discussion, especially considering most people of the worldview openly advocate for things like affirmative action and race or gender quotas to correct for past injustices. This student said Kamala Harris has a qualified district attorney, which is true, but I feel like that's not the point. There's a difference between someone being selected purely because of their qualifications from the total pool of population and shrinking that pool of candidates to restrict yourself for a few qualified people. Remember, the Democratic Party merely just put two of those criteria for its VP selection. Being an African-American woman, they'd already massively reduced their selection pool. The African-American population in the country is around 14%, and half of them are women. That means you'd be looking for qualified candidates from just 7% of the total population, disregarding the remaining 93%. That's what DEI does, and that's what is potentially most damaging. This is not what a true and open meritocracy looks like, and neither does it work in the end. The he government. said at the South Carolina debate These are no. that I will pick a black woman as my vice president. Secondly, Amy Klobuchar came is, out- Is this a random black can, can woman I, that I he finish? plucked off the street? Can or I is finish? this a qualified DEA general attorney I, who's I, had a I, decorated I, career I'd leading like government positions? But You can, but you keep rambling about things that well, just aren't relevant to what we're talking about. It is about. relevant. Amy Klobuchar in vetting came across as the more qualified candidate. Why? Ka because they said Kamala Harris wasn't very smart, wasn't very bright. That's their own vetting documents. From, the from who? Joe Which Biden's is, own vetting documents. So show why would he go against that? Because the base of the Democrat Party demands tribal politics and DEI politics that's, over competency. That's yes, completely inaccurate. He stated to Jim Clyburn said, I will only endorse you in the South Carolina primary if you say that you're going to put a black person, preferably a black female on your ticket with you. Therefore, you winnow the entire universe down and when say, was, I'm only going to choose from this criteria. And let's just think more broadly. If okay. you're about to have heart surgery, would you rather have a heart surgeon that's good and excellent, knows what he's doing, or someone that is a black female? So, and being president's yeah. more important than being a heart surgeon. Aren't you on record saying that you'd be terrified if there was a black pilot yeah, let, that, was, yeah, let's, that was flying Yes, your, I, your I did say that, but what, why, okay, cool. what, what was the full quote? I, I, I personally, I don't know. If so, you want to expand on yeah, that. Yeah, so this, this ties into this. United Airlines said that half of all their new hirees are going to be black or women, and that standards and pursuit of excellence is not going to be taken as um, seriously as diversity. This when is, I'm flying a plane, I want to know my pilot is there because they're a good pilot, not because they fit some DEI box. I think there's also another element to this as it regards the 2020 election cycle. It was the most charged year for racial politics in a long time. 
The George Floyd incident was still fresh in people's memory, and the Democratic Party needed a way to bolster its image and support among one of their strongest voter bases, which is the African American vote. In fact, Amy Klobuchar herself had stepped down from the Joe Biden VP shortlist at the time and called on the presidential candidate to pick an African American woman instead. She remarked at the time, saying, quote, I think this is a moment to put a woman of color on that ticket. If you want to heal this nation right now, my party, yes, but our nation, this is sure a heck of a way to do it. And that's how we ended up with the final shortlist for vice president composed of four African-American women, Susan Rice, Karen Bass, Van Demings, and Kamala Harris. There was also external pressure on Joe Biden to go with candidates of a specific racial and gender makeup simply for the outlook and image it would project. A leadership group for African-American women called Sisters Lead Sisters Vote even officially wrote a letter to Joe Biden at the time, which read in part. And I quote, There has not been a Democratic presidential nominee in over 40 years that has won the White House without black women's leadership and vote, including President Barack Obama, President Bill Clinton, and President Jimmy Carter, Therefore, we urge you to seize this historic opportunity to choose a black woman running mate who will fight for the issues that matter most to the American people and help deliver a decisive victory and a successful Biden presidency. Joe Biden himself also made something similar clear when he asked about it in the primaries. I committed that if I'm elected president, have an opportunity to appoint someone to the courts, will be a, I'll appoint the first black woman to the courts. It's required that they have representation now. It's long overdue. Secondly, if I'm elected president, my, my cabinet, my administration will look like the country. And I commit that I will, in fact, appoint a, I'll pick a woman to be vice president. There are a number of women who are qualified to be president tomorrow. I would pick a woman to be my vice president. Just to be clear, you just committed here tonight that your running mate, if you get the nomination, will be a woman? Yes. He clearly wasn't hiding it because for the Democratic Party, it really is just part of a political platform. That's why there's no need to jump through hoops trying to make DEI something it is not and instead just own it as a political worldview. That's how you empower not just the political party itself, but also the people that rise up as a result of these politics who can wear it on their sleeve. That's not a problem for Kamala Harris, apparently. Watch her gloat about being the first everything in this recent conversation, using her race and gender to overshadow her actual achievements as vice president. Which aren't many. You know, I was the first person to be a woman at the Attorney General of California. I was the first woman to be elected District Attorney of San Francisco. I was the first person of color to be elected Attorney General of California. Whatever. First, first, first. Welcome to the Role Model Club. It's tough. Being a part of the role model club means being in a room where sometimes you may be the only person who has had the experiences you've had. We've seen that in the past four years and might continue to see that if Kamala ends up becoming the president of the United States. Right now, the political discourse around DEI is charged, but more interesting than ever. And that's because it's now making its way to the top of the power hierarchy in America. But let me know in the comments how you think it will resolve because we're probably going to find out firsthand in the next few years.